sound test room. Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at the Pioneer RMX 1000 for, uh, yes, for the iPad. Um, so it's exactly the same as the hardware version. Hardware version is for DJs, it's been around for ages and ages and it's like one of the most popular, probably things, popular effects units DJs use because it's very cool. Uh, and now it works exactly the same in uh, in your iPad so but the cool thing is it's audio bus compatible so as you can see we have here launch pad and I'm just gonna play with a couple of packs in launch pad and also play with the uh, RMX now at the moment I can't get this to flick back so you know just gonna have to do this but it doesn't matter I've got launch pad hooked up to uh, the launch pad uh, the, the the launch pad mini so I don't have to keep going backwards and forwards to, to launch pad to make this sound uh, any good so we can get rid of that there so basically you have input through auto detects the BPM uh, once it starts playing there you go 132 and I'll stop that then uh, we can have our, our effect sources our input here and then we have our, 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 our rx pads here and we can do some very very cool things with these and these things here and the scene effects and the breakdowns and all sorts of cool stuff so it's uh yeah oh, also the, of course you can customize you can customize this version we're not going too far into that now but you know if you like it you're going to get it on you and you're going to you're going to be able to customize all your settings to suit yourself so basically i'm just going to oh yeah uh, before we go any further, you have, like on the original, I don't know if you're familiar, but on the original you had like a, like a, 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 a little drum thing that it will, it will sink into your, your beats so you can, that's on hold, and you can do the same with the kick, but you can trigger just one off, so. like this and also we can overdub so if we if we select our clap we can do some cool stuff with this and also you have a roll so that will you will see what how that works that will affect the whole mix as well also so very cool also as well something to point out here if you if you select bank here you can change the uh, you can change out the sound so for as far as I know it has uh, only two so there you go and kick So it has a couple of different things that you can change. Okay. So for instance Music. Some effects and stuff you can you can put in. So what's this? This one was um let me see. So anyway, that's the kind of thing you can do with that. It doesn't really matter. You, that's just something else you can play with. So basically, let's just start off uh, launch pad and see what we do.
Anyway, there are a lot better DJs out there than me who will probably be able to see the the usefulness of this. Um, it's a, it's great fun to play with. Obviously, it's a it's a classic port, so we should be happy. And uh, it's 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 fun. Uh, the the cool thing is when you use it with something like uh, this as well. Uh, although I didn't, you can apply effects from the i uh, the Launchpad Mini as well as through the the RMX, which is very 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 cool. So you can get your. Uh, I mean, best thing is not to go too over the top, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can see how it how it works. So functions in Audio Bus, very cool. Um, which means that you can affect now any of your mixes with this as well and it was a very very popular thing like i said you can customize text and stuff on here i mean i've only played with it for about 20 minutes so you know um that's 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 the thing you have some settings here and what have you you can set inputs and what have you and stuff and i don't know it's all good but you can control you can set up different role types for the for the x-pad uh for this um for the xpad effects which is which are these here so you can do all sorts of cool stuff so you can have the um you can do different types of you know, it's a lot of a lot of different a lot of different stuff you can apply here and for the sampler oh there's yeah there's a few different uh different things in there that you can choose so you can set up your sampler in in here Yeah, it's bank one, bank two, bank three, so you can change out different things. Cool. And for the X-Pad again, you can control different uh, quantizations by the looks of it. Then you can set up the isolator effects as well, how you want them set up. So yeah, it's 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 there's a lot you can do. There's a lot you can do with with the uh, RMX 1000, and it's very nice. I know a lot of people are happy that this has appeared as well. So, 
cool beans uh so there you go there's a quick look at the pioneer rmx 1000 uh, running with audio bus and being processed processing uh launch pad all right guys hope you enjoyed this as you have visit the santastream.com or like the video subscribe to the channel and uh yeah i'll see you guys later